this vest might look like it have, this vest might look, I got this, I can do this. I speak English fluently full time. Hey guys, my name's Chris. I'm Cam. And we're gearheads here at Backcountry. We're gonna be talking about a really fun new product today from DB with collaboration from Sage Kotzenberg and Safeback, the new Snow Pro vest. This vest might look like it has a typical avalanche airbag in it, but this is actually a trigger to start a system called the Safeback. This is a proprietary system made by Safeback and DB is the first manufacturer to kind of collaborate with them on the vest. What makes this system unique and maybe give us a high level rundown of how it works. There's plenty of different tools out there nowadays to keep you safe in the event of an avalanche accident. I think the first thing to start with is decision making and making it known that none of these tools are going to save your life. They're gonna give you something to help you in worst case scenario situations. With safe back in mind, their new SBX kind of air filtration system works very similarly to how an airbag would without the airbag. So the system itself is stored inside. It runs on six Energizer lithium ion batteries, very specific batteries to help optimize the fan system. You'll actually get an error message if you use the wrong batteries, and that's just so that it's set up correctly to help save your life. So it stores in the main compartment. It funnels two hoses through each shoulder strap of the vest and the trigger. The trigger you can set up on either side depending on which hand you want to use. Air will flow through the fan system with a little mesh opening on the side of the vest, filter that CO2, and pump clean air through either end of the hose and each shoulder closest to your airway. So like Cam said, this isn't gonna be, okay, I can now go ski that crazy line on a red day. We still want you to make sure you know before you go, make sure you have your proper education and the tools like a avalanche beacon, shovel and probe and a partner that you trust before you go into the backcountry. Those things come first, but this as a last resort, worst case scenario is there to potentially provide clean air for you to last not just five to nine minutes in an avalanche situation where you're fully buried up to 90 minutes. The avalanche airbag not only is it designed to keep you potentially on top of an avalanche or the debris field, it's designed to give you added air pocket. The question is how does that air pocket actually get consumed by the person that's buried? So this system is an attempt to address clean air to help prolong your life expectancy in a burial situation, which I think is a really unique and useful way to think about how we can save lives in the backcountry. It really doesn't take up that much space. You can see here we've got a shovel and a probe in here. Um, it's currently unzipped, but it takes about, you know, the amount of space as two cans or a larger avalanche beacon, kind of like the size of a hand there, but you still, this is an eight liter pack, so you still have room for maybe some side country essentials. Um, this might not be your full day thing, but talking heli lifts or film projects or side country snowmobile access, where you know you're putting yourself into maybe a little bit of a riskier situation. A couple cool features about this, the vest in general, it's called the Snow Pro from DB. Um, eight liters of capacity, lots of straps and potential hook-ons out here for maybe some side country access with a pair of skis. You've got double adjustments here. It comes in one size, but it fits from extra small all the way up to extra large with these double cinches on the side. On the front here, obviously you have your vents for the safe back system. And then this side vent is how the purifier on the back end kind of pulls in that fresh air. On the front, you have some typical chest vest pockets. Isn't crazy bulky, isn't crazy big. So I think it's something that we're gonna see a lot of athletes using this year to you know, keep them safe in the backcountry. Some of the other tech included in this vest, like Chris mentioned, the chest pockets, but optimized to fit skins, roll up skins, along with any snacks you have. There's a ton of space, as you can kind of see, my hand disappears. And then ski carry and snowboard carry, vertically for your snowboard, you have kind of that tail loop here, and then two straps on the top to secure the top of the board. 
if you're a skier and you're using this, you can use this as a diagonal ski carry as well. One of the top straps to hold your skis diagonally. I prefer a diagonal carry. It keeps it off my, the back of my helmet when mm -hmm. I'm climbing something steep. I think these out, outside straps are also modular. Like I could see just keeping a couple extra long heli straps in here just to make sure you're you know, prepared, but also you could hook just about anything onto here. Yeah, you can hook a lot of different tools on here. I carry a bunch of extra volley straps. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of those sling mesh helmet holders can easily clip onto here. An ice axe could probably be fit onto here pretty easily. Absolutely, and it's a really durable, strong nylon ripstop fabric, so you don't have to worry about snags or branches ripping this thing. It's gonna hold up with the wear and tear. We haven't had a chance to get out in the backcountry to actually test this piece out. We will this winter, so make sure you keep an eye out for a long-term review. But a cool thing that DB is hinted at, um, Safeback also talks about, is the compatibility with a potential airbag as well. So imagine having this paired with an airbag. Yeah, I'm excited to see what DB and Safeback come to market with in the near future, and the addition of an airbag in, in this piece would be another layer of safety that I think we're all excited for. I'm gonna zip this up really quickly and kind of demonstrate how easy it is to kind of activate and pull. So you can hear that fan pulling in that air from this side vent. I can feel airflow here, and you can feel airflow here. This is designed to give you air whether you're tilted to the right and stuck, tilted to the left and stuck. Obviously you wanna use your hands to kind of create a bigger air pocket. Pretty solid flow here and super easy to turn on. The system itself turns off if you wanna do a test. Slide it towards test once and then a longer hold. So yeah, that's how you turn it off, but once it is triggered, it'll run all the way until it dies about 90 minutes with full batteries. The system itself won't drain your batteries though, so it has a really, really low pull, so you can leave these batteries in you know, throughout the season and not worry about changing them if you're not using the best. It's cool to see a system uh, for its first year out, so small, so compact, so well thought through. The system has multiple tests that it runs when it first turns on to make sure everything is safe and the fan is operating correctly. Um, this thing just feels well engineered, thoughtful, and you know, something that it being the first year I would trust to have on me in the backcountry. Yeah, and in classic DB fashion, stylish as well. It looks, looks great. It looks awesome. Where would you use this and who do you think this vest is for? You know, I think I would use this maybe not on my biggest tours because like we said, it has a, only an eight liter capacity. I think this is perfect though for maybe those Dawn Patrol missions where really you're carrying a water bottle, a snack, a first aid kit, obviously your beacon shovel probe or fit into that pocket, but kind of like smaller tours, side country, heli skiing, maybe a film project, and definitely for ski patrollers and avalanche safety experts in the field. Cam, thanks for joining me today to kind of run through the high level of this uh, Safeback system in collaboration with DB on their new vest. Uh, we're looking forward to trying this out in the field this winter. If you got any ski touring questions, backcountry questions, gear related questions, reach out to a gearhead today. We'll help you out with all the things related to avalanche safety and safely traveling in the backcountry. And if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be putting out a ton more content around the sea season very soon. We'll see you guys in the skin track. Cheers.